I just landed in the United Kingdom where I was greeted with this terrible news. I'm certain that all Jamaica is grieving. I'm certain that all Jamaica is horrified and upset at this gruesome murder. It is the most gruesome crime that I can recall in recent times. The murder of a young woman and her four children. It is heartbreaking, heartrending. This kind of violence cannot be allowed to continue without a response, without action on the part of the government. The police commissioner and the minister of national security have both assured me that they have put all the resources in place to ensure that the perpetrator is caught already. They have a suspect, a person of interest, uh, and they have already good leads in capturing that person. You know, this kind of murder, this kind of gruesome killing shows the lack of respect and dignity and sanctity of life. It really shows how violence, violence, the ultimate violence that of taking life has become entrenched in our society. This is not just a domestic dispute. This murder represents an attack on our civility, an attack on our sensibilities, and it is an attack on our nation. The police, the Minister of National Security has assured me that they are going to be putting all the resources into ensuring that the perpetrator is caught and brought to justice. I want to express my deep sympathies to the family of young Kimisha and her children and to let them know that the entire nation is praying for them and surrounding them with love and support. I think this is a point where all Jamaicans should reflect on the level of violence in the society and how we have come to normalize violence and that each and every one of us, how we rear our children, how we interact with each other, how we conduct our social transactions, uh, we must all turn away from violence as a means of resolving disputes and conflicts.